Stieg Larsson, the author behind The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo trilogy, died in 2004, but his series lives on in a new book titled The Girl in the Spider's Web, to be published Tuesday. Larsson's original story garnered widespread acclaim and was eventually optioned into a $232 million grossing movie. The new author chosen to continue the story is David Lagerkrantz, and while early reviews seem to be happy with the book, the one person who was closest to Larsson is not. I read uh, original writers, not people who copy other people's books, so to say, so I won't read it. Eva Gabrielson was Larson's longtime partner and an author herself. She never married Larson, which means she doesn't have any rights to his estate under Swedish law. Instead, Larson's brother and father got control of his estate. It was their decision to let Lagerkrantz continue the story of the girl with the dragon tattoo. Gabrielson sees the latest book as just another slight to the principles Larson, a political and social activist, so cherished. She also sees it as a simple money I still don't know why I'm so absolutely obsessed by her, why I'm so thrilled by this character. Lagerkrantz doesn't see it that way. Though he has never been the political activist that Larson was, he says he has demons of his own. And it's not like he doesn't have his own literary chops. He's the author of a biography, a novel about Alan Turing, the man the movie The Imitation Game is based around. Lagerkrantz also ghost wrote a memoir for a Swedish soccer star. Both sides seem to agree on one thing, though. Ultimately, the fate of this book and future books in the series lay in the hands of the public. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.